I think I'm ready. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classes with a Quirk, where I talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. Hello, welcome back to another video. We have a visitor today who you might be able to see poking her little head or her little tail up into the screen because she won't leave me alone. She currently is in a donut jail for uh, too much licking. Uh, which she is not super happy about, not thrilled, but she doesn't mind the donut as much as she minds like a sweater. So this is the solution to the licking problem. Her donut is a little watermelon. See? Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. But yeah, so she's in my lap. She's very, very needy with the donut on. So you might just see her tail flicking back and forth. That is not the point of this video, obviously, though I hope that you enjoyed the little guest spot. What is the point of this video? Well, I think I'm going to be selling one of my pieces. I, I, not not think, I know. I Well, I'm going to be trying to sell one of my pieces. I have been going back and forth on this idea for a while. I made a video a while back saying uh, items that I'm thinking of selling, and this was one of the featured items. And I even put it up for consignment last year, and it didn't sell, so I kind of took it back because I wasn't ready to part with it. Like, I sort of regretted it. But I think now I am ready. I think that I have some other things that I sort of want to add into my collection that would replace this item that I would be happy with doing because I love this item so much. I think it is so beautiful, but I have such a hard time wearing it and using it. And I do have some items in my collection, some pieces that I keep kind of as shelf pieces. Like I love to look at them. I love to have them, but I don't love doing that for all of my collection. And I'd rather switch this item out for something that is very similar that I would like and use more, if you know, if that makes sense. Now for the item in question, it is my beautiful vintage Chanel jumbo in the brown caviar leather. And this is, I, I feel a lot of mixed emotions because on the one hand, I think that I'm ready. I do feel that I'm ready to part with it. I've actually submitted it to a couple of places for quotes. Like I submitted it to Fashion File, I submitted it to Gree Bag, I submitted it to Anne's Fabulous Finds. And I'm still waiting to hear back from quotes, but honestly, Honestly, I've had a lot of people on this channel express interest in this bag because I've mentioned it a couple of times that I was thinking about selling it and I've had people express interest so I sort of wanted to give you guys the option to purchase it first. I'm only going to be accepting Zelle payment and my email address is in the description box down below so if you're interested in this bag just send me an email classicswithacork at gmail.com and basically first come first serves in terms of payment so the first person who pays for the bag will get it. The price in the description box includes shipping and insurance as well because I will be shipping it insured and with the signature because I want to be very careful with the bag. I might be open to international but I would have to like discuss it with you and there would be international shipping fees and you'd have to pay customs so I, I, I'll, I, I don't know I guess it depends on who is interested in it but uh, I, I would prefer a US based buyer. That's all the nitty gritty details out of the way. Just in terms of the bag, it is in beautiful condition. It is absolutely pristine. The corners have no wear to them. There's no really like loose threads. The hardware is beautiful and shiny and gold. There's no dings or chipping on the hardware. There's a couple of scratches on the CC, but even that, not very many. It's just it's it's in gorgeous gorgeous condition this is a single flap jumbo and obviously as you can see the square style this is a five series and it is it's beautiful caviar leather it would come with the cereal card and the dust bag this is one of the older style dust bags so it's not the the white dust bag that you're probably used to seeing it'll be the black dust bag with white lettering and i just i love this bag so much i really do i really do but i'm not parting with this bag because I, I, I have a problem with it, aside from the fact that I can't wear it. I've tried so hard to wear it and it just, it never just seems to work for me. I much prefer wearing black or I would much prefer wearing a beige. And that's basically what I'm going to be doing. I have an interest in buying a vintage Chanel jumbo in beige in the square style with, I would like the big CCs. I've seen a couple of them on Pre Love Market. I, I've been interested in it for several several years now. You probably heard me mention a vintage beige Chanel jumbo a number of times on my channel if you've been here before. And so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell this bag and let somebody else enjoy it because I enjoy it when it's sitting on my shelf, but I know someone else who would use it and enjoy it would get get more out of the experience of owning this bag. And I think I would just get so much more use out of a beige jumbo because I think the color would work for me better. And I do have to say, 
I will miss having a vintage caviar piece in my collection because this is my only vintage caviar piece and the caviar is beautiful. It's some beautiful even graining. It's like the pebbling is lovely. It it's such a good bag. It's such a good bag. And I'm not trying to talk myself out of selling it. I still want to sell it. I should sell it. I think I've gone back and forth on this for such a long time. And I think I've sort of made the decision. Another bag I'm interested in actually is the modern Chanel jumbo in beige in caviar with the gold hardware. I've tried on the caviar jumbo in boutique before, and I, I might have posted a picture on Instagram, I think, if, if you've seen it there. And I actually really liked it. I, I hadn't been certain about whether or not I would like the modern jumbo on me, and I've heard tales of it being too heavy and the, the flap being annoying, but like, here's the thing. My vintage jumbos, like my Mademoiselle jumbo and this jumbo, this these are heavy. Like, I, I, I will say that. If you don't want a heavy bag, this is not the bag for you. These chains are are substantial the hardware is substantial so there is some weight and heft to these bags and uh, that's just something that I've come to accept and so when I was comparing it to the modern jumbo I'm like wow the modern jumbo isn't heavy at all what are people talking about so I, I had no problem with that I liked how it fit on the body and I think Yes, I'm considering adding both a vintage jumbo and a modern jumbo both in beige to my collection. However, the vintage jumbo would be in lambskin. I want it in lambskin. I would prefer it in lambskin. And the modern jumbo I'd want in caviar. I think even though that they're both beige jumbos, they're both completely different shapes and silhouettes. I They're the, the same bag, but they're different. They're different, you know? Like, you, you hopefully understand what I'm talking about if you are also into bags in the way that I am into bags. Like, you know that they're, they're different. They're different styles. And I think they could do different things. I like that the modern jumbo would be in caviar, so slightly more durable and like more uh, suited to the elements, like, you know, rain or being able to take it out into like a light flurry or something. Whereas I wouldn't necessarily risk a lambskin piece in the same way. And I just think that they could be styled differently. And I, I think that the modern jumbo has a very like classic, classy look. Like I think the modern jumbo also would work with casual. I've seen a lot of stylings with like jeans and t-shirts, which I've actually really liked. And I just think that I could use them both. And I, I think that I would rather have one or both of those bags in my collection than this one, no matter how much I love it. And I think that that is the conclusion I need to come to. So I finally part ways with this bag because it's been sitting on my shelf for several years and I really admire it. I really do. It's a gorgeous example of vintage Chanel. When people talk about vintage Chanel quality, when I talk about vintage Chanel quality, this is sort of the bag that I mean. This is like the epitome of beautiful caviar, wonderful hardware, like a good, just a good solid, nice bag. And if you are interested in the bag, then please again, send me an email and, and uh, I will ha be happy to discuss it with you. And hopefully uh, this will end up in the hands of somebody who would really enjoy it. Yeah, that is my video. <laughs> um, uh, a little bit convoluted. So I hope that you didn't mind. And uh, if you aren't interested in the bag, but you still watched, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I actually do have another really exciting video coming for you next week because I did make another purchase that I'm waiting to get uh, from Japan. I'm so thrilled to be adding this piece to my collection, so I hope that you stick around for that. And it's probably gonna be coming out, like I hope next Saturday something. Um, I don't put out regular videos, so I would suggest maybe subscribing and maybe hitting the notification bell so you're alerted when I put out new videos. But I digress. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please do give it a like. It super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content that helps the algorithm even more. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.